Just a short ride from the busy centres of Hong Kong, the residential community of Discovery Bay on Lantau Island is a gateway within a gateway, a leisurely resort linked to the rest of the SAR, the Chinese mainland and the wider world beyond. With its internationally minded residents expected to rise in number from some 16,000 to 21,000, it was a perfect opportunity for Italian deli owner Massimo to bring his particular brand of food and culture, contributing to Discovery Bay's and Hong Kong's sense of neighborhood. Discovery Bay, you can say, is a village, is a town, it's very, very clear, is identity. For me, it's very important because our shop can be a place where people they come for shopping, to buy the grocery, to go home for, and the cooking. It can be a place where they come also for dining. Il Bel Paese means the beautiful country in Italian, invoked by poets and writers when referring to Italy. And Massimo says he's been seeking to capture a fragment of that beauty. So the idea was really to bring a piece of Italy in Hong Kong. So I had a passion for food and fun. That's uh, an excellent place, the, the way we live in Discovery Bay. The concept seems to be working for Discovery Bay residents. Actually we are come from the south of Brazil and we have uh, uh, all the immigrants from the south of Brazil, German and Italian. So we feel home here. You have the feeling of Italy just because of the the charm, it's cozy. You see the decor is also very Italian. The food is very fresh, basic Italian. I don't have any experience eating Italian food yet, but this is the place where I taste all the Italian food in here. The preparation of the food, the service, the ingredients are all very authentic. And so yeah, it, it does give you a little taste of Italy. And having been to Italy, I can speak with a little bit of authority on that. A Hong Kong resident for 25 years, Massimo opened his first deli in 2001 and expected it to be his last. But he's since added seven others, including in Discovery Bay. That success is down to overcoming early supply difficulties in Italy and Hong Kong's clear logistical, infrastructural and marketing advantages. In order to establish a company, was uh, relatively easy. We have to say Hong Kong is very efficient, uh, bureaucracy is, is a minimal, so everything was smooth. For Massimo, Hong Kong is unique, but as he studies the markets, he also recognizes that it has advantages as a premium gateway for the entire Asian region. If you can prove that uh, you are well established in Hong Kong, is the best presentation or the name card you can show to your uh, potential customer in China. Hong Kong is a kind of a central point, easily also to travel to East Asia. On the other side, the East Asia countries are looking at Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a kind of a place that set the pace. What is the trend in Hong Kong that can be a good message for other markets. As in China, so in Italy, people want to run their own businesses, and Massimo has come up with marketing campaigns to keep his delis up to speed. A small town near Venice was where Massimo came from, but he found no trouble adopting Hong Kong as his home. Many people ask me why you left Venice, so beautiful place. Uh, Venice is definitely is unique, but Hong Kong is another beautiful place. And also, I find many similarities with the place where I come from.